Good morning and welcome to Waking Up With Dawn. I'm Kristen Gramazio, your host for today. And today we have an amazing guest. This is Forrest and she is with the Little Lunchbox Lady. So I want to hear more about this. I see you brought me lunch and I was all excited. <laughs> I went, oh, what do I have today? You make lunches for people all around Panama City, Panama mm -hmm. City Beach, and you deliver it to them. Yes. How did you think of this idea? Um, I've had it in my head for a long time, probably since high school. I just knew that I wanted to do something different every day, something fun, something convenient for people who mm -hmm. work a lot. Um, convenient for people who have to stay at home, elderly people. Um, Pretty much yeah. anybody that doesn't want to cook for themselves. And I know many times yeah, I don't want to. I didn't know I could have someone cook for me. <laughs> you know, I will, I'll just work and I will forget to make my own lunch. Yeah, or, eat or it's out. hard to think of healthy options every day. And so. that's it, healthy options. You're cooking some meals that actually have nutrition in them. So that way, you yes. know, the elderly save you know, they they can't be cooking all the time. They have it delivered for them. Now, how does someone actually go about finding you and contacting you to see what they want to order? I have a website. It's www.littlelunchboxlady.com. And I put up my whole menu for the week. You can see pictures, descriptions, um, everything that's you're going to get, everything that's going to happen. Um, you can go and pick and choose your days. You can message me right on there. Really? Either that or you can send me a call, send me a text. Um, so pretty much any way. Yeah, they whatever is convenient for you. Mm -hmm. So you started off with just a few handful of these lunches. Yes. Pretty much, I'm guessing, delivering to some friends, some family. Yes. And it has exploded now. How many do you deliver now? Probably around 80 a day. Wow. Mostly, like, and it's just going to keep on growing. and Hopefully. And yeah. you do all the cooking, which is amazing. I do, yes. So did you have a background of cooking in a restaurant, or were you just always, you know, in the kitchen as a little kid? Mixing yeah, meals? I mean, I think it's all of those things. Um, I've cooked in restaurants for years now, mm -hmm. and that's kind of all I've done. It's all I really wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And culinary school, I'm halfway through with culinary school. Um, I go to Gulf Coast. Oh, awesome. And... Yeah, that's cooking when I was a kid. I mean, it's just so what you I love enjoy to do. Just you know, food makes everybody happy. It does, and that's why I like to do it. Is because it makes everyone happy. It brings people together. It's just, it's just, it's a, it's a great thing. And <laughs> who doesn't need to eat every day, right? <laughs> so now, um, for your meal, I obviously I want to dig into this, but I'm gonna have to wait a little bit. But I, um, you package these all and you deliver them. So I do. I recently got help. I have some lady drivers helping mm -hmm. me out now. Um, but yes, before it was just me cooking and delivering them all. But now I kind of stay in the kitchen and yeah. I do some some delivering. But so they're delivered to the people's doorsteps. They just give you the yeah. address. You deliver them around lunchtime. Yeah. So usually it's coworkers who order together in a big group. Mm -hmm. And um, either that or homes, things of that nature. Um, but yeah, so everyone usually just comes together and just gets lunch and that is, that I deliver is great. it. <laughs> so for um, some of your meals, they're all going to come with a main dish, yes, a side dish, yes, and if they're lucky, they might get a little uh, dessert treat yes. in there. And yes. those are I'm also homemade to, as well. Yeah, I'm trying to do that every day. Today I have a little chocolate cayenne truffle, mm -hmm. and it's coated in pistachios. It's so good. And you make this all from scratch. Yeah. That that yeah. is absolutely amazing. I can't I can't believe that the, I, this hasn't come out earlier in this you know this area because a yeah, lot of people they don't eat they're, they're going to have either their breakfast and then they're going to go all the way to dinner and having that meal in the middle of the day is very important to it your is. health so we got to keep everybody healthy and um so i can't wait to see what we have in this box and we will do that when we get back from our local weather welcome back and again we have forest here the little lunchbox lady and she has brought me lunch, and I am so excited to see what she has here. So what do we have as this our main dish? This is a bacon wrap pork tenderloin. Mm -hmm. um, it's over a little bed of greens. Uh, it's got a nice cumin rub on it. It's really yummy. And this over here is some couscous. It's drenched in papaya juice, Ooh. and it's got feta, and it's got onions. Now, I've never heard stuff. of putting papaya juice in the couscous, it it's sounds so yummy. like a great additive for some nice flavor. And then the feta cheese on top just has a lot of different flavors going on. And um, how do you pick what your menu is going to be for the week and what you're going to cook? Usually I try and keep it very seasonal, very fresh. It's part of doing it different every week and something different every day is that I'm able to do that. Mm -hmm. um, and what are some of your other menu choices that you have for this week? For this week tomorrow, I have salmon cakes, mm -hmm. which are like crab cakes, but better. 
Um, they come in little sliders. Monday, what do I have on Monday? But it's pretty much, you've got some fish, you've got some beef, yes, you've got yeah, some chicken. It's always a variety. Something, and it always comes with a side, your mm -hmm. main dish. Um, and what if you have someone that has a, you know, dietary need, if they, you know, do you support those? Yeah, of How course. do you go about uh, cooking for them? Yeah, I cook for everyone. If you have a dietary need, you just message me and I, I can hook you up. We can still, yeah. That's, that's awesome. It, it's so amazing. I'm still so impressed that one person came up with this idea and is just growing it and expanding it and bringing, you know, happy, heart healthy food to your table so people aren't having to use those microwavable meals. I know when I work for my house, I will, if I have a few microwavable meals in my freezer, yeah. those are the first thing I pop in or I'll just throw together a quick sandwich and you know, I'm not getting the nutrients that I really need and as we get older, your body really needs that. So yeah. you being able to target all these different, you know, lifestyles, it is a perfect need for everybody. So you're pretty much ex planning on exploding, right? Hopefully, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna yeah. hire more cooks or are you gonna take over everything? We'll see, for right now, I'm just riding this, Going you know, through, doing yeah. it. And it's great, you're yeah. still in finishing culinary school, mm -hmm. so you're getting all the top tips of the newest ways to cook your food yes. and everything else, that is great. So this ab looks absolutely amazing and I am getting really excited to be able to <laughs> actually eat this. And I'm sure anybody looking for, you know, something quick, easy, it's coming to your door and you're getting it to them by lunchtime. Yeah. Um, how soon does someone have to place their order in order to get it by lunch? I think you can pre-order all of your boxes or you can order the day of before 10 a.m. And what, what is the cost for this service? They are $10 a piece. Um, single orders, I do $12. Where are you going to go and get a meal delivered to your home? You don't have to go <laughs> out and get it. And it's saving you so much time. And the price is just right. This is, this is a perfect thing for anybody for, you know, get it for your mother. Get it for your grandparents. You don't Definitely. have to worry about, you know, just yourself. You can have these delivered to anybody in your local area. Yeah. Maybe your neighbor. You know, you see them not being able to bring in the groceries and, you know, you want to make sure that they're eating healthy too. Just Definitely. I have some people surprise their spouses. Valentine's Day, everyone was sending lunch boxes to everyone. I did little messages and fortune cookies oh, from people. Oh, that is so and awesome. And, you know, you could have lunch meetings. If yeah, someone wants definitely. to have a lunch meeting, yeah. order it for Staff everybody. Meetings. Mm -hmm. Rather than going and having, you know, getting it from a corporate, you know, or a mom and pop type support place. Support a local it, business. Support yeah. a local business. That is absolutely. Now, how would someone go about, like we said before, just again, they could go to your website, mm -hmm. um, check you out on Facebook. Yes. They could check out your menu, order daily and weekly if they wanted to mm -hmm. order for the whole week. And yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Thank you so much, Forrest, for joining Thank us. Thank you for having me. And we'll be back after these messages. Welcome back to the show. I'm here with Benita and Bonnie from Capstone House. And Benita, you may remember, as the lady hypnotist. And Bonnie is a librarian at Capstone House. And you guys have a special event coming up tomorrow, don't you? We do. We have our Mystic Festival. Uh -huh. um, it's tomorrow from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. It's $5 for adults and children under 13 are free. We will have all kinds of things going on. We're going to have readers and healers and one of a, a big favorite for people in this area is the aura photography. Aura photography. That's mm -hmm. correct. The, mm -hmm. uh, they bring a curly and photography machine in and mm -hmm. they film the electromagnetic field around the body and it, it comes out in brilliant colors. It's beautiful. You know, some mm -hmm. people say that artists from years gone by were able to see that. And that's why a lot of holy figures have halos around their heads and auras and things like that. I don't know, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't make this stuff up. I just, <laughs> I don't make these rumors up. I just spread them. Right. But, uh, <laughs> but that's Actually, interesting. The Carillion mm -hmm. photography is fascinating mm -hmm. stuff. Scientists use it. Um, mm -hmm. And they've been able to prove that most living things have an electromagnetic field that emanates from the body. And they're able to photograph it and look at it. So we all have an aura about us, don't yes, we? Yes, we do. Everybody. I can see Isn't yours I? now. Oh, can you really? <laughs> no, color, is it? Does it match my shirt? Not, I hate the clash. I'm not one of those <laughs> gifted people. Uh, I, I think also, do we have the stone lady uh, this time? Are we going to have a lot of stones or do we just have a oh, certain yeah, amount crystals of crystals? And stones we or? will have crystals and stones. We will have uh, oil practitioners. We'll have herbalists um, and 
Benita will be there with her mm -hmm. with chakra mm -hmm. healing bed. That's mm -hmm. right. Chakra that, healing bed. That's right. That right. is Eastern an amazing medicine. experience. Everybody should try that. <laughs> so there's all Eastern medicine, a lot of mystical stuff, that's hence the right. name, the Mystic oh, Festival. Oh, uh, is it George mm -hmm. Lugo? Mm -hmm. Mr. Lugo will be there. He's very, very popular in this What's area he when he He's comes. a medium. Oh, yeah, uh -huh. wow. He's People call and ask mm -hmm. for him a lot, so he'll be there. But there'll be readers there as well, so somebody to read my palm or read my cards or whatever. That's right. right. We Tell have intuitive readers, uh -huh. tarot, and all kinds of tools that readers mm -hmm. use. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I think there'll be something for everybody. So you know, maybe people take it seriously. Maybe people go for entertainment value. Either way, it sounds like it's going to be a good time if you're going just out of curiosity. Very yeah. definitely, and also mm -hmm. we have a lunch. Lunch will be five dollars as usual, and it's a large lunch with salad and sandwiches, mm -hmm. and so and it, the lunch is for the public as well as the vendors. Okay, so, so uh, anybody can go. Anybody five bucks can for go. the lunch. That's is there right. admission as well, or five dollars for adults? Th uh, children under thirteen are free. Okay, mm -hmm. so five dollars to get in, five dollars mm -hmm. for lunch, ten bucks. Mm -hmm. You have a fun time. We encourage mm -hmm. people to bring their children because sometimes they don't want to have a sitter. So bring your kids on mm -hmm. out. We've got tables outside. We've mm -hmm. got places for children to be. Okay. Well, Great. I hope you guys have fun with this and okay. uh, have it now. You know, I, I'm a little skittish around stuff like that myself, <laughs> but because. You know, what if I find out something about me I don't like? Well, you just have to fix it. What if you look at my, <laughs> oh yeah, you can, you can hypnotize me into that, right? It's like, we'll fix that, no <laughs> problem. Fix my aura. <laughs> if it clashes with my shirt. Oh, uh, Don, everybody loves Don. It's yeah. no problems. <laughs> yeah, we're all waking up with Don. Mine we're well. all waking yeah. up with Don, yes. Well, th well, good luck to you guys <laughs> with, uh, you. out there at Capstone House. And if we, do we need to make a reservation or we just show Not up? At all. Just show up. <laughs> okay. We do have we do have a couple tables. If mm -hmm. someone would like to oh, come yeah. with their wares, we do have a couple oh, more tables. So there's booth space available. Uh -huh. if somebody mm -hmm. wants to. Okay. Just right. a we few. We had three. We had three spots left. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what do we need to do to reserve that spot? Do we call you? Do we just show up? Call Capstone mm -hmm. and speak with Miss Gladys, and mm -hmm. she'll get you all set up. And of course, right. we can find you on the internet as well. Oh, right? absolutely. Right, right. Go look at our website. It's yeah. just, and look at event, look at the event section well, on the, the website. What's the website again? It's Capstone House. www.capstonehouseinc.org. Capstonehouseinc.org. Right. We have okay. a newsletter, a calendar, and a lot of information about what we do and what we're about. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people wonder what we're about. That's the perfect yeah. place to find out. It, it really is. So if you're curious about it, visit the website. Or just stop by tomorrow at the uh, Mystic Festival, Festival. right? And uh, meet some very interesting people. And I would have imagine. a good time. And have a good time. That's and maybe right. get a good meal as well. That's right. right. Ladies, thanks so much for coming on the show. Thank and good luck you, with Don. your Mystic Festival. Thank, Thank you. you. You'll be right back after these messages. Welcome back to the show. I'm here with Pamela Elliott from Elliott Vocal Studios and Talent Agency here in Panama City. And welcome back to the show. Hey, Don. So good to see Thank you. The you. autism benefit that you had at Elliott Vocal Studios went really well, I heard. I was packed. And it, we were just thrilled because it, it was just so good. And you so raised good. some money for a local autism charity. Yes, we did. Um, mm -hmm. we, we raised um, money for... Um, Autism Speaks, and also the um, Growing Mind Center over in Gulf County. You know, and it's funny because everybody thinks about Panama City. You never think about Gulf County, who is, know. You know, they're in our viewership area, and, you know, and, and they have kids just like we do. Yes, so, and yeah. Growing Mind Center is a small autistic, uh, or autism school, uh -huh. and we... We have one of our teachers that w actually works there. Isn't that great? And yes. you, had, you had a whole bunch of other stuff going on there. Yes, you know, we do. Mildred Singer, one of one of the people yes. who came out of your place. You know, we've had her on the show before. We're going to have her on again. You yes. know, she's got this this music video that she's launching yeah. soon. Isn't and that exciting stuff? It's really cool. Yeah. And listen, if you anybody is invited, and if you have time, on the twenty fifth of this month. Mm -hmm. At 530 at the Martin Theater, they're previewing her music video. And anyone's invited, please go mm -hmm. and, and support Mildred. She's awesome. Uh, if you've heard her sing, she is like world class. She's got she a world really class voice. She really is. And she's one amazing writer. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, and they're all so original good. songs. Juliet yes. is, is the name of the song yes. and the music video that she's launching on the 25th at 5.30 at the Martin Theater. Absolutely. Now, you've got big doings going on yourself uh, with all yeah. these classes that you have coming up. Gosh, we got so much going on. 
Yeah. Okay, so summer camps are coming up. We have eight camps. We have doubled eight. our camps Man. from last year. And it's from anywhere from four years old to 16 years old. And we're talking about vocal, and we're talking about instruments, we're talking about just music camps. We have introduction to instruments. Most of them are vocal camps. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're going over basics and um, also, you know, theory and stage presence, song choice, uh, mic control, just on and on. I mean, just a lot of great information and, and a great much, price. It sounds like for pretty much for all ages too. It is from four to 16 and of course those are bro broken up into age groups. So, so if your kid is, if you're looking for your kid to have a, a, a creative activity mm -hmm. for, for a camp, how long is a camp? A week? Two weeks? A camp is, is four days. Four days. Okay, yes. so it's a little shy of a week. All right. Yeah, so we've it's got Monday through Thursday. Monday through Thursday. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a great activity. If they want to learn more about it, we could probably go to your website, right? Yes, you can. You can go to our website at www.elliotvocalstudios.com and you can click on where it says summer camps. You can just click on the text there and it'll open up to the camps. Elliotvocalstudios.com, two L's and two T's and Elliot. Yes. Don't get that. Yes. I made that mistake. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll find out all about those camps. That's so exciting. And, and, the, and I guess it's all ages for the most part. Yep, right? all ages. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun. And it's a great value because you, you know, usually private lessons or even group classes are way more money than the camps are. So it, it, this is a great opportunity to really get in there and see how you like it. Now you've had, you had these camps last year as well. Yes. Right? How, what was the response? Amazing. Really? Amazing. Yeah, we yeah, had yeah. a great, great response to our camps last year. Now, when you think about vocal lessons, you think mostly hmm, probably girls. Is it girls and boys? Or? Yes, girls and boys. Uh -huh. We have boys in camps too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, so if you've got a little little person at home you think is loaded with talent and you want to develop that talent. Yes, bring them. Especially in an introductory thing. It's like, where do you start? Yeah. Right? Where do you start if you're a little person? If you're a little <laughs> you know? person, you start yeah. with vocal warm-ups. I mean, a child, not a little person. Little know, person but you, <laughs> we, we have our ways. Yeah, we have our ways. And they have yeah. so much fun learning, too. We really try to incorporate everything in there. We even put a little acting on camera in there, too. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. That sounds like a lot of fun, you yeah. know? Yeah. So you can be a little ham and <laughs> make it work. It's for overall you. really great camp. Uh, Pamela Elliott, it's always a joy to see you. And uh, Elliott Vocal Studios and Talent Agency. Yes. So the agency's doing pretty well too. Agency's rocking and rolling. Yeah. yeah. And I'm gonna come by and register just in case you need an extra. Like, Absolutely. You know, like a middle-aged, balding, kind of chubby guy. You know, I might need that. <laughs> Come on Maybe now. Weight commercial. <laughs> we'll sign you up. <laughs> right. Well, thanks so much, Pamela. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the show. I'm here with Kristen from Live 850, that handy little app that everybody needs to get on their smartphone that tells you what's going on in the 850 area code this weekend. Kristen, what's going on? So we have today the celebration of bacon. Now, who doesn't love bacon, right? Who among us does not you, love bacon? Yes, you will find me there. Yeah. And this is going to be at Sea Level Bar and Grill. Mm -hmm. And what it is is a three-course dinner for $25 with um, all of them including in-house cured pork belly. You can't go wrong. Everything bacon. <laughs> Who doesn't love it? Vegetarians. Uh, yeah, yeah, they, they probably won't away. be showing. But they can come yeah. for the live music that will be going uh -huh. on. And they're going to have some great hand-crafted crack cocktails as well. So okay, where is this happening again? This is going to be at Sea Level Bar in mm -hmm. Panama City Beach. Okay. Call for reservations. It's $25 for a three-course meal. Great music. You know, something great to do on your Friday night. What's better than bacon and pork bellies? Absolutely, <laughs> yes. <laughs> what else is going on? Um, so Saturday we have the second annual beer festival. Uh -huh. And this will be taking place at Fish Ale. And that will start at 1 p.m. Oh, the Fish Ale Tap House. I love that Yes, place. Yeah. yeah. And they're going to have over mm -hmm. 200 craft beers from around the world. Yeah. And the proceeds are going to go to the Toys for Kids. So it's a great charitable mm -hmm. event. Um, and you can get the tickets at the door. Um, or in advance. So okay. check out the app and it will give you more information okay. of the numbers to call. And then we also have the Seabreeze Jazz Festival on the 22nd and that will take place at Pier Park mm -hmm. at noon. That's very cool. Yeah, and it's the 17th annual one yeah. so it keeps on going. It must be great. I haven't heard it yet. but What's cooler than jazz? Not like the flip side of the pillow. That's about what's cooler than jazz, maybe. Yes. I don't know. Well, if yeah. you're not into jazz, then we also have the Toad Lick Festival, which is... The what? Toad, Toad Lick Festival on yeah. the... 
Yeah, I'll go for the pork bellies, uh, thanks. I but. went <laughs> last year to the Toad Lick Festival. It's in Dothan, Alabama at the uh, National Peanut uh, Festival Fairgrounds. Yeah, I've seen that place. Yep, and it's three days from the 23rd to the 25th of amazing music. Um, actually, yeah, 23rd to the 20, uh, 25th, so f uh, weekend. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a number of great bands going on. There's... Uh, Lee Bryce, Brett Michaels will be there. Oh, he's very cool. Yes, yeah. um, and a ton of others. So just check out their website, Toluk.com, and you can find out the other acts going. And plenty of other live bands playing. Uh, but hopefully there's no toad licking going on <laughs> no. there. Maybe that's just the name, <laughs> I'm hoping. It's just the name, yes. But, but the Bacon Fest thing, I'm all The Bacon Fest, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, this is going to be a great weekend. Well, Kristen from eight, uh, Live 850, thanks so much for coming on the show and getting us smart on what's going on around the 850 area code absolutely. and beyond. Absolutely, yes. Actually, for toad licking. That'll wrap it up for this week. We'll see you next time.